Okay everybody, it's Craig from 9 Volt Games, and this is part 10 of the Silent Hill 2 HD Collection walkthrough. Now, in the last one I took you through the prison, actually I looked it up, I took you through the prison pretty fast. I'm going to try and take you to the labyrinth just as fast. Um, I can't sit this close in the labyrinth, my eyes are burning. Now, what I mean by when I say the labyrinth, I mean through all them crappy tunnels and ladders that is such a pain in the ass to do. Um... So I'm going to try and get you through the labyrinth as fast as possible. Now down in the labyrinth it is possible for you to run into a pyramid head and then find a room with the pyramid head's great knife and you can use that as a weapon. I'm not going to take you that way simply because um, I'm trying to do this as speedy as possible and it is out of the way to do it. And it can be confusing in a labyrinth because there's a lot of take a left here, take a left here, go up this ladder, take a left at the split, take go down this ladder. So it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of pain in the ass. <laughs> So, uh, just for quality of speed, I'm going to, or Sega Speed, I'm going to go do that. Now, I'm going to stop at this point, right before we get to Angela. Now, when I say Labyrinth, again, I'm just going through the tunnels underground, and I'm going to stop when we start to get to people's personal health. If you play this game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Once you get past the Labyrinth, you start to see, you know, Angela's personal hell. You get to see... Maria's purpose, you get to see Eddie's hell. Eh, that'll be all in the next video. This one's just getting through the labyrinth, so I'll be back out of the way because I realized I was actually in the TV quite a bit on the last one. Alright, let's do this. Plus, you can hear me better back here, anyways. I'll probably move this. Uh... Alright, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the immediate left, run all the way to the end, take a right. And follow it all the way to the side of it. And then run down. This is a one way, pretty much. I'm gonna run down here. Yeah. Get to this ladder. We're gonna come out at this. This cube controls everything in this room, like how you turn the cube. So what you want to do to get to the part you actually need to be at is you're going to turn the cube you want the two yellow eyes upside down facing you. Yes. <laughs> go back in this room, run all the way through, go down, cut scene time. chased us to the elevator, and James, then... what are you talking about? Just before. Don't you remember? James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <sighs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything. But you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? I'm not your Mary. So, you're Maria? I am, if you want me to be. All I want from you is an answer. It doesn't matter who I am. I'm here for you, James. See? I'm real. Don't you want to touch me? I don't know. Come and get me. I 
can't do anything through these bars. Okay. Stay right there. I'll be there soon. He changed his mind pretty fast. <laughs> he changed his mind pretty fast. Okay. This is important. Obviously, you can't really forget it. You're going to hear this electric noise when you come up. Go back the way you came. Grab the wire cutters. Go all the way back the way you came. I'm talking all the way back towards the elevator. And then you're just going to go straight to the door that has all the wires in front of it. You're going to use some wire cutters and cut them. This is important right here. You're about to go into the labyrinth portion. Now, if you ever get lost, come right back to this area and just remember this. This is the, uh, what is it, algorithm there to getting through the actual labyrinth. Think of it like this. <laughs> right, right, left, right, other side of the fence, down the ladder, left, straight. And then left again. <laughs> and then you're at it. The less a pyramid head that you see in this, the uh, better off you're going to be. If you see a pyramid head, you are going the wrong way. So, right, up the ladder. See, I didn't follow my own algorithm that I just told you. <laughs> so stupid. That's so stupid. By the way, I got sprayed. Feel that shit. Get sprayed again. Oh, come on. Get the hell out of my ah. Jesus Christ. Alright, keep it right at the split. Fuck. Fucking lost. Sorry. Take a right at the split, not a left. Go around the fence, go down the ladder. Take your immediate left. Oh, come on. Get prepared to spray it all in the face a lot, man. Your immediate left, follow it all the way to the ladder. If you take the wrong area in here, you will be running into pyramid heads. Yeah. Take your ladder immediately down. Alright. Right. Take this other left to go up the ladder. And you're done with the labyrinth. <laughs> It's always so intense because if you don't got enough health, you could die down there, especially if you go the wrong way. All right, so we got the save point here. Um, the save. I did not pre-run that one. I should have. All right, anyways. There's a newspaper here. Give you a little brief history on Angela. I know you guys can't read it. For some reason, this shit's always so bright you can't read it, but... It basically tells you about, well, you know what, I'm not going to ruin it for you. But the next portion will be Angela. You know what? Let's squeeze the Angela fight in. It's only ten minutes. I think I'm going to squeeze the Angela fight in. Why not? Equip a bigger gun.
holes being plunged by metal bloody objects. Ah, oh, goddamn it. Fuck off, man. Angela, relax. Don't order me around! I'm not trying to order you. So what do you want then? Oh, I see. You're trying to be nice to me, right? I know what you're up to. It's always the same. You're only after one thing. No, that's not true at all. You don't have to lie. Go ahead and say it. Or you could just force me. She was ill. Liar! I know about you. You didn't want her around anymore. You probably found someone else. That's ridiculous. I never. Hiya, uh, Jimmy. Come on. All right. So we're gonna end it here. I've always thought Abstract Daddy was kind of, that's the enemy I just fought, kind of creepy. It is one figure on top of another in a bed frame covered in a blanket, struggling. <laughs> but, uh, alright, that's it. So, we're going to end this at Angela's Torment and uh, continue on next, which will actually be through a couple puzzles that are fairly easy, and then on to dealing with Eddie. So, keep watching. Thank you guys.